What's up everybody, my name is White Dragons and welcome to my test world for Attack of the B-Team stuff. So as you can see we've got this nice little pipe going here. It shows stationary tropical water. But this is what I want to show you today and I do apologize. Well, let's get some stuff out of the way first. In all my videos sometimes you hear some noise in the background or something like that. That's my fan and I apologize for that because, well, in all truth and honesty, because of the area I live in it's very hot most of the time. So I'm always having to have a fan on to keep the, both the CPU and the other equipment running kind of at this optimum, optimal uh, capacity. Uh, so sometimes you may hear that in my recordings. Like today, you'll probably hear that in my recordings. And I apologize for that, but there's no other way to work around it because it's freaking hot. It's like 75 degrees outside right now and it's just hot. I mean, there's no wind, so it's just hot. Anyways, <clears throat> what I want to talk to you about today is a very simple way to automate your Tinker's Construct smelting system. Now, this means that you'll only be able to smelt certain items at one time, and then you may be able to just put in, like, gold and iron and tin. You can just put it all in there and then just walk away from it. So, uh, we're in a tester world, and of course, you probably will already have seen this in some of my videos. Um, that is so freaking cool. Alright, so, but for example, as you can see, we've still got things going on here. Um, it's a pretty simple construct. A pretty simple construction to do. Um, hmm. We're gonna run out of room here soon. So I guess I better... Well, I guess, let's go over, let's, real quick, let's just go over some of the things that you're going to need while I'm building this. Uh, you're going to need to go ahead and just get Tinker's Construct up and running, okay? So, just get it up and running, and anywhere you want. But the biggest thing to remember is, is, uh, so like, let's say this is your, this, well, I got the Tinker Construct stuff. I might as well build it while I'm talking, right? Okay. So, we're going to put Tinker, we're going to make... Oh shit, we're gonna make this our Tinker's Construct uh, area, okay? Now, uh, when you build it, and of course you, you may be in fly mode, and you may not, hold on, I got an ear itch. Oh my god, okay. I'm trying to make this super simple and super quick. Um, so let's just build it up real quick so you can see how to build a Tinker's Construct smeltery. So it's gonna be a three by three in the middle. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So. This will be the back portion, okay? One, two, three, one, two, three. You don't need these corners, okay? But it's kind of advisable to have them because of what we want to do for our smelting system. So go ahead and put them in. It's only an extra couple of four, like eight bricks. Just, you know, you can live with that. Trust me. Uh, now, Tinker's Construct is basically based upon how deep your well is or how deep it goes down for just convenience sake we'll only go about two or three levels down well let's see one two maybe two uh so go ahead and keep working it just like this okay and you'll understand why shortly uh we'll put let's put the lava tank and the con smelter controller here and we'll put the tables over there so let's fill the rest of this in Okay, still with me? I hope. All right, so also you're gonna need a smelter drain, a smelter controller, the casting tables, and the sear to tank. A, a couple buckets of lava, uh, iron, which we'll do later. We're gonna need the hopper, and to construct, oh, we need the uh, faucet too. To can make an iron, or no, I'm sorry, an ingot cast f to put on the casting table, you're gonna need a gold ingot. Or an ingot, nugget, an ingot, yeah, it's ingot. A gold bar, okay? So you'll have to smelt this first in a regular smelter. No way around that. But it has to be a gold bar. It cannot be anything else. It has to be a gold bar. I'm going to repeat this again. You have to have a gold bar. In my video, I had a, kind of screwed that up. And, um, well, go watch the video and you'll understand. So we're going to put our drainers here. Actually, let's go up one more. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah, because we're going to need the room. 
Well, we can dig down. Screw it, we'll dig down. Move some of this stuff out of the way. I know, White, you should have planned for this. How can you plan for something that you, you know, that you just built like five minutes ago? There we go, all right. So, we need a drain here, a drain here, and a drain here. Now, you don't have to have it three. You can have one, you can have two, you can put it like this, you know, for, we'll just do it like this, because typically drains aren't that expensive to make, but they're, they're kind of expensive to make. Okay, so then over here, we're gonna need the, uh, let's put the controller right here, and let's put that there, and if everything works out right, you'll have that. Now, this is made different uh, using um, another type of lock, so, but I want to distinguish the difference here so you can understand. Alright, so if you see this on, the system is working, okay? Tinker's Construct is working properly, okay? Which is awesome, okay? I can't tell you how many times it took me to figure that out. I know, I know, it sucks. White, you suck. I know, I know, I know. Thank you. Thank you for pointing out the most obvious thing, Captain Obvious. Alright, so with this system working, now the fun part begins. Okay, remember that hopper I showed you in the beginning? Well, if you break the corner and attach the hopper itself to the smelter, guess what? You can put things in the smelter and it will automatically start smelting for you or it'll build up. So it's not gonna smelt because we don't have any lava in the seared tank. And that's, you can see that for example, but see, it's already loaded. Because right, we're only low and high, that's all we're gonna get. So let's fill this up capacity so it'll be a few seconds and it'll catch it it'll update itself later on but we're not leave this alone just don't even worry about this right now okay um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna dig oh we're gonna dig down and just for your sake I would dig two out okay take your uh, casting tables Put one there and one there, okay? Then dig down again. If you're a bat form, this should be pretty easy for you. Uh, take your hoppers again. So you're gonna need, a, it, depending on how many smelters you use, or I'm sorry, depending on how many uh, faucets, or blah, 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 what do you call these things? Oh my God. Smelting drains. Depending on how many, I had it right the first time. Depending on how many smelting drains you use will be dictate how many hoppers you need. So for example, if you had three, you're going to need one, two, three, and then you could probably, if you want to get away with it, just put a chest here and just have it in the ground like I do because I'm kind of lazy. Or you can do some like crazy mod contraption with, um, what is it called? Item. Here they go. Some crazy contraptions with this stuff. I'm not all that smart, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you, yeah, that, that's the way to do it. So, But I'm going to show you the easiest way I know to do it. So you got one here, and remember, this set's going to be a little different. Um, as usual, we're going to have to make some adjustments here. So let's say we want to put the chest in the middle, just for the hell of it. Okay? So just basically point your, point your crosshairs at the chest underneath the base and this uh, casting table. All right, so far so good, right? Everything's looking good. All right, so this is how you want to make it look if you're using a two. Now, if you're using a three, for example, you may want to put the chest over here. Okay, this is how I have it in mind, actually. I have the chest right there. So if you do that, you're gonna to have to basically turn all the hoppers in that direction, like so, okay? Pretty simple, pretty simple stuff here, but this will make your life a hell of a lot easier. Uh, so as you can see, the iron is in place, and oop, wrong one. I'm just gonna show you real quick what it looks like. So that's what it would look like. That's what mine looks like, okay? But we're not doing that. We're gonna be doing the middle one, and you can change this. Oop, you can change this up and customize it however you want. Uh, I like the three because I can get you know three of them going at simultaneously. If I could help it, I'd put six. Six on each side would be pretty damn hardcore. But I don't have the material for that right now in my world. This is it. This is all you need to do for this. So let's just basically cover this up so we have something that looks pretty. Okay? Pretty simple, right? Alright, so 
Remember I told you along the way you're going to need to get an, a gold ingot. And you'll have to put, uh, to make the plate, you're going to have to use gold. You just right click that one in there. And of course, as usual, I forgot to get two. Because I'm an idiot. Going to grab another one real quick. Right there. All right. And put it right there. All right. So, uh, to, like I said before, to get the gold ingot casting, you have to have gold smelted. And then a gold ingot in here. And it's real easy to put in. You just get the ingot and you go just like this boom okay and then your your cat your gold castles form around it and then there you go all right that's just for you to know okay so the chest is empty i'm making sure everybody sees the chest is empty all right so we've got that done that's done and this has been liquefied okay now i do not and i'll repeat this again i don't put the faucets on until i am completely done here so now we're gonna need this little bad boy uh, now a lot of people do it differently, but I found that the cheaper way to do it is with a timer And a timer is pretty easy to make actually uh, No, no, don't give me that. I want the damn recipe you dirty jerk You dirty jerk. Oh I'm in creative mode Um No! Put me back on survival. No, it's not going to do it for me. Dang it. Well, basically, what you're going to do to make this little bad boy, and you just, if you're playing with um, with Project Red integrations, uh, you can type in, uh, or you can look up timer, and basically what it's going to be is you're going to need to smelt smooth stone into the circuit boards. And then you just follow it through. It's a very, very cheap. And let me say this again because I try to go the cheapest way possible. A very, very cheap method of doing this. So, with that being said, let's keep keep going. All right. So redstone. Why do we need redstone? And why aren't we putting the faucets on yet? Well, the faucets react to redstone current. All right. So now, if we face it this way, see that little tick you just saw? A little tick right there we don't want that there what we want is we want that tick to be there okay man let's do it right I don't like screwing around I like having that output there all right see how now <clears throat> here's the really cool part this is the cheapest way I see of automating smelting everybody else got their own little way but in the project uh, well, I'm sorry with the with the attack of the B team mod pack. This seems to be the cheapest way Hopefully somebody else can find another way But I'd rather not do the circuit system because it takes too much and I like being you know compact now We need to adjust this so if you have a bare hand and you right click it changes the timeline now I've tested it. Okay with three smelter smelter uh, drains going if you have it set to five minutes, five seconds, five second intervals, the casting will, will dry and it will automatically pop out of the casting base because you have a hopper underneath. And when it does that, it'll pop out, go into the hopper and go straight into the chest. But five seconds is probably our best bet. But we don't want to turn it on right now. So if we break the line here, it won't do anything so let's put our faucets on and all you do is as usual I screwed it up again get back in creative mode tinkers we'll just use a fault we'll use that all right put one right there all right so and if you wanted to you could change it up to where you know you had two of them together in the chest over here but this kind of looks nifty to me right now now let's turn that current back on and watch what happens ready set go now it automatically and boom there you go now you're gonna you can just walk away from this I mean literally I built this about 20 minutes ago or something what the hell's wrong with that cow 20 minutes ago and I started smelting 
Well, no, I built this last night and started smelting about 20 minutes ago. And I didn't have to be around. I just basically just let it go. Grant you, I added an extra hopper here, which we really don't need. We can actually put it closer, but I was testing out how far we could go with the hopper. And I put it up high so you could see how exactly it works. You don't really need these on the bottom, okay? You just need these three, like we've got over here. So as you can see, it's pretty much smelting on its own. And uh, we've got 108 ingots to go. But, you know, let's just say you know, you, you, you know, you're out there mining and all of a sudden you're like, BAM! I found gold! And you're like, oh my god, I got so much gold! So, you know, let's say you get 20 pieces of gold, right? All you really gotta do is just put it in here and it will automatically go in here and fill up. Now, here's the reason why we want to use the hopper. Stop that from smelting real quick. And I'll show you why. So you can see. We're just trying to buy time here until um, till the uh, smelter's done here. It should probably be forever. If you put it in yourself, you have to literally put it in yourself. Okay? But because the hopper uh, basically is transporting items to empty slots, you can instantly just put them in and they'll instantly fill up. Okay? That's the reason why you want the hopper for the smelter. Let's see. How's our. Oops, wrong one. Lava's still good. So, okay, let's, we've been. We've been away a little bit. Let's check out and see how much we've got going. 50 ants already. Just in that short time and we put in 64. The reason why is we got so many here is because I believe Tinker's Construct doubles the ore value of the raw ore. Okay, so for example, we just put in gold ore. Okay, so I have no doubt that we'll get plus two of that ore. So we should come out um, to something like 40, I think. I think it's going to turn out 40. Let's find out. It's going to take a few more minutes. No big deal. Sometimes it, the update doesn't happen quick enough. So you may not see the progression bar. Or sometimes you may not see the lava when you first start your smelter. Don't worry about it. It'll it'll happen, trust me. Once it starts up, it'll upgrade, update itself. So let's see. This will be the test. Should hit 40. Yep, we get 40 ingots out of that. That is freaking cool. And like I said, you don't have to do it. You know, just be careful. Uh, or you don't. I'm gonna back up. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to be here. You can just walk away. Okay? Because that thing is going on and on and on and on. You literally are. It's just. It's a right click. To the faucet. Right off the bat. So that's pretty cool. Now I will warn you. If you put. Uh, material in or ores in that mix it will automatically mix it okay that just happens for everything but but if you do them individually you know you get a whole bunch of ore like I do I get like a chest full and I just throw it in the hopper now grant you mine is like I think I got it down to here <laughs> so but yeah that's it that's that's all you got to do to automate your 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 smelter pretty damn simple I think it is um, and this is what I'm using in mine which is awesome so again guys I do apologize for any noise you hear in the background but it's hot it's super hot and I hope this helps you out with the uh, Tinker's Construct smelting system and building and until again until a yeah I can't talk right now I'm super oh yeah I said I, I have a command block turn the time um, until I talk to you guys again, thanks and bye.